Hey guys, Chris Clothier here with another episode of Total Turnkey brought to you by REI Nation. And I'm excited to be reviewing another book. I'm playing catch up here, trying to get to 26 for the year. Bear with me. I think we'll make it. I got to do a lot of reading to get there. In the meantime, uh, I've started picking short books. That's my version of getting there faster. I'm kidding. However, the book is short. This week's book is all about Uh, I chose this one really for the business side of what I like to talk about as opposed to just real estate, but I'm going to put it together with real estate because I know we have a lot of of viewers and listeners that they are interested in business, uh, being better at business, being better entrepreneurs, um, being better at at delivering service. We have a lot of viewers and listeners that are more interested in the real estate side. And I've already done a few real estate books as I look over at my, my, um, my bookshelf over there. So I'm going to switch over. And we're going to talk about a very important topic in business to me. Look, I don't care what you do and I don't care what business you're in. um, In almost every single scenario, you are providing some form of service. If you're delivering a product to someone, how you deliver it is your service. If you are a true service company, then how you deliver your service is the the customer service experience that you have. So um, I read the book Raving Fans. For those of you that don't know about this book, it is a business parable by Ken Blanchard. Follows a lot along the lines of the one minute manager, um, which doesn't pertain to this, but I just wanna tell you that's that's kinda how, how people know Ken Blanchard. But Raving Fans is all about how do you create a sustainable work environment where your team is empowered to provide an an just over-the-top experience for your customers where you are using constant feedback. So you're constantly asking for real unfiltered uh, advice from your customers on what the experience is that they're having, what they want, how they expect it to be delivered, and then using that feedback to again, empower your your team to deliver exactly what your customer wants. At the end of that cycle, you're asking your customers, hey, I'm trying to turn you into a fan. Would you use my service again? Would you provide referrals for me? I'm looking for raving fans that love what we do and deliver exactly what they're looking for. That's what this book, Raving Fans, is all about. The parables are really good. It's it's short and easy, uh, quick read, and it's really it's it's less like detail of here's the here's you know line by line and bullet pointed on how to do something or how to set up a business or service oriented company, and it's more about here's strategies that you can use delivered in a story, delivered in storyteller storyteller form. So you know like hey if I can see a real world a real world example of how to implement what this parable is talking about, what it's telling. Um, you know, for, for those of you that, that know a little bit about our company, or those of you that don't, I'll just tell you straight up that for us, when we started REI Nation, really it was, it was called Memphis Invest, and before that it was called CIG Properties. Um, so when the company was first started 20 years ago, um, customer service wasn't something that we were really focused on. It was more of a, as many businesses are, kind of a transactional style business. You know, you buy something, you sell it. Um, Then it became a, you buy something, you hire somebody to fix it, you sell it. Then it became a, you buy something, you hire somebody to fix it, you figure out how you're going to manage it, and then you sell it. So there's this, there's this cycle. And we learned back in, I'd say 2006, 2007, 2008, right in, in that time frame right there that the the constant drive to find somebody new to do business with, that, that could end up being a killer for a business like ours that was um, transactional based. So we, we had to flip our script in our own minds. This book, it was really funny because we didn't know anything about this book. Um, but when I'm reading it, I'm like, this is exactly what we did. This is, this is us that we set out to say, hey, we want to do business with, with real estate investors and deliver an experience to them that's completely different than anything they expected. Nothing like what they thought it would be like, nothing like the horror stories they've heard in the past. Um, 
we did it by starting with really with the the defining on the front end. So we let the clients define to us, hey, this is what we want. This is what we uh, fear the most about real estate, and said, let's let's fix that. Let's deliver right on that, you know, so that people are just blown away and shocked and surprised. Then let's empower our team members to, you got a problem? I can fix it. it doesn't happen that way across the boards, and it can't. I mean, a business today like this, this is a two billion dollar. Uh, portfolio that we're managing, you can't just let everybody just, you know, go and do anything. But all of our team, they have a, a, they have our permission that if you need to do something above and beyond extraordinary for a client, do it. The relationship, turning fans into raving fans out of your clients is worth every penny you could possibly ever spend to make their experience fantastic. So if you're a business owner, if you're a real estate investor, especially on the real estate side, I'm going to go there. The way you treat your resident means everything. Do you fix problems that they have quickly? Do you look for the best resident you can get into a property? Do you call them a resident or do you say you're just a tenant? All that matters because if you treat that person the way they want to be treated, if you deliver an experience that they really want, I want, you know, a lot of times we hear from residents, I just want a landlord that's going to answer the phone and fix the issues. That's a, that's a big deal. Now, we tell them, I want a resident that's going to pay, pay on time. If you can't pay on time, you're going to communicate with me and you're going to get paid in the month. It's a pretty simple trade-off, right? And that resident, if you answer the phone and you give them the experience they're expecting and they give you the experience that you're expecting, you have a raving fan. You have somebody that not only won't move out of your property, they will accept incremental growth in rent because they love the way you treat them. Then they'll tell all their family and friends that, hey, if this landlord or this management company has other properties, you should rent from them. Same thing. That's exactly what we're trying to do on our side of the business, both with, with residents and with clients. If you're a small business owner, no matter what service you provide, this is a strategy you should use. You need to read this book as soon as possible. No matter what business you're in, you're always providing a service and this book will provide you examples of how to be better. So, um, Look, I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you straight up, this book, it's not even, like, if I could give it more stars, I would give it more stars. You know, like I said, it's not bullet pointed out with do X, Y, and Z, because that book wouldn't be effective for all of us as business owners. Instead, the book says, use these examples, apply it to your business, figure out how to create raving fans out of your clients and customers. Guys, I give this book a 10 out of 10. I think it's excellent. Um short, quick, easy read, and something that you should add to your book list, especially if you are a business owner or a landlord managing property. Guys, until we get a chance to come together again, I'll have a new book. Um, I think the next books also are going to be business related um, because that's what I'm reading right now. Uh, we'll, we may knock back into real estate as we go on. Uh, I'm not even sure where I'm going after these next two books I'm reading, but as soon as I've got them ready to go, I'll give you a video. Until we get a chance to meet again, guys, like the video, please subscribe to the channel, share it with anybody else out there that you think would get value out of this. Like our, our Instagram, the Facebook, you know, guys, anything you can do to help us grow, we want to provide for you. So until we get a chance to meet again on another video, hope you have a, a fantastic week, commit to the grind, and we'll see you soon.